Hey guys, so I got a new little makeup collection I wanted to share with you. <laughs> when I saw this collection was coming out, I was like, I have to have it just because um, this was one of, one of my favorite TV shows growing up. So I got the Friends X Revolution collection. Um, I didn't get all of it, but I did get the eyeshadow palettes and a couple of the lipsticks because one of the lipsticks was sold out. But I purchased mine from Ulta. Um, so let's just go through the palettes really quick. This is the Rachel palette, Central Perk on the front. This is what the inside looks like, which is really pretty. Some of the uh, shades are Shopping, On a Break, Dinosaur, 90s, Barney's, Tag, Chip, Pushover, and Crush. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. Here's the Monica palette, the iconic door. They even had a mirror that had that on it. And I really seriously considered it. Um, but I've got a couple handheld mirrors and I really don't need another. <laughs> um, but here's what the inside of her palette looks like. Some of her shades are clean, chef, geller cup, chicken. Twins, Frizzy, Bing, Obsessive, and Thanksgiving. Really, really pretty. And then here's Phoebe's with her taxi on the front. Here's her shades. Smelly Cat, Lobster, Triplet, Ice, Flaky, Buffet, Science Boy, Bike, and Ditsy. <laughs> this glitter, I swatched it and it was really good. And then I got the Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big Friends X Revolution. Um, and I have played with this because I did try to film this video before. I did three looks. And I butchered all, well, the last one kind of came out. Um, but when I was going to edit the video, it just looked awful. So, <laughs> I'm becoming more and more critical of my videos when I go to edit them. So, um, anyway, I still wanted to show you this because I'm very excited about this collection. But... I was not happy with the video, so we're redoing it today. <laughs> so I'm trying to clean it up a bit because it was a bit dusty where I tried three different looks out of it. But again, I have been in this palette before and it's character names. Um, all the shades are named after a character. So it's Ross, Chandler, Joey, <laughs> I don't want to drop it, Monica, Rachel, Phoebe. Um, then it's Gunther, Janice, Carol, Ben, Emma, Richard, Emily, Ursula, Mr. Geller, Mrs. Geller, Julie, Barry, Marcel, Paolo, Fun Bobby, Mike, Mindy, Frank. And then the three highlighters in the middle are Ugly Naked Guy, Mr. Heckles, and Estelle. So I think it's cool that all the people who were in the show got a shade named after them. <laughs> so... I did, in my first video, just focus on the big one, and I think I'll do that again. Um, <laughs> since I used most of the shades in there, I should be kind of familiar with it. Um, and I'll do a second video with just these three. Um, that way, I did not I did not play with these three yet, um, but um, I think they would be fun to play with, especially, uh, I, well, I just like them all. There's really not one that I like more than the other. I think Monica's looks like very fall inspired. Um, but I mean, really all of them could be used. So I think it would be really pretty. Um, but we're just gonna stick with the Big Daddy. And also in this palette, you get a big mirror, but I don't wanna blind you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep that bent back for now. So, I did prime my eyelids with my e.l.f. Um, primer, and it's in the shade Sheer. So, I think I will dip into this little one. Um, it's the Rachel palette. I just need a matte shade to kind of like set my, my eye. I'm going to dip into this dinosaur right here and just set my whole eye with it. I have mostly clean brushes, guys. How exciting is that? I say mostly because I've used them. I did them um, a couple nights ago. And then I've used them for the couple days in between to get ready with. So, most of them are clean. There is a little kick up in the pan, just FYI. 
there's so much, there's so many colors in this palette, okay? There are 24 eyeshadows and three um, highlighters. So there's so much to be done with it. That's why I stare at it and I'm like, which, which direction am I gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> Which shades am I going to use? Um, okay, I'm going to take Ben right here as a transition and put that in the crease. It's probably not going to show up a whole lot, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Okay, it really didn't show up at all. <laughs> okay, that's fine though. I'm going to go into Joey. I'm gonna put that in the crease. And then I'm gonna go into Phoebe, this orange. so vibrant and those colors just they blend very well together i'm gonna take a little bit of this shade emily and put in this outer corner the outer v Did you guys have a favorite, like, Friends episode? Was Friends even something you like to watch? I always rooted for Ross and Rachel. Always wanted them to get together, and they never could get it together. <laughs> even when they were together, they couldn't get it together. And speaking of Emily, she was not my favorite. I thought she was kind of grouchy. Um, when Ross was like trying to make things work with her, like she wouldn't give any. Of course, I probably would have felt the same way she did had he said someone else's name at the altar. But you know, I was still a Rachel fan. <laughs> so I wasn't really on her side at that point. Take a little of the orange just to blend. Don't worry too much about these corners. I'll fix those. Um, then for the lid, I'm going to go in with Richard. I think maybe my favorite Friends episode was probably, I don't know, there are so many good ones and like it's so hard to pick just one because like there are so many things I can think about so many different episodes and I can be like oh I loved this part of this episode and that one but um one that really like sticks out in my mind is the, the episode where Phoebe gives birth to her brother's twins <laughs> I love that episode so much her brother is always hilarious every time he was in the show I just thought he was so funny and he always gave me hope that everybody could find love, <laughs> no matter what age you were. Well, his wife gave me hope, not necessarily him. I think I might take just a tiny bit of Mrs. Geller right here. Just to blend these two, just a little bit. I mean, I have so many shades to play with. And I loved how uh, Monica and Ross's parents were always 
you know, just, they were just so funny. Like, you know, always expecting more of Monica. I did have a little fallout, but not much. Oh, one more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dip into this highlighter, Ugly Naked Guy. Get that on the brow bone. But yes, the episode where Phoebe, Phoebe gives birth <laughs> um, is so, so funny when he just keeps running out and like, you know, saying, it's a girl, it's a girl. <laughs> and then he says, Chandler's a girl. And Chandler goes, oh, flashback, you know, like just when he was younger and it was just so funny. I just thought it was hilarious, honestly. So, um, it was truly one of the best shows of all time, in my opinion. I just think that it was like you couldn't have found a better cast, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> um, they just, they worked well together. So, um, I think they were good together. <laughs> But it was one of my favorite shows. I was so, I just like, I hated when it went off. I shed a tear or two, I'm sure. I can't remember exactly my reaction, but I'm sure that I cried. Um, but yeah, it was such a good show. And I like watching reruns. And so like when I got this palette, um, I, I told my husband, that I got it, you know, and he knows my love for friends. And I said, we need to, I wanted to watch an episode or two. <laughs> and so we go back and, um, I had, there was just a few episodes available. I couldn't really find it on any of like Hulu, Netflix, all that good stuff. Um, and so, um, <laughs> we watched an episode that I showed him and then, um, he said, oh, well, I want to watch the episode where Brad Pitt came, you know, for Thanksgiving. And I was like, okay. So, we found that one and watched it. And um, it was just, uh, he loved it. He had never, he said, I might have seen like one episode of it in my whole life. But I've never watched like the series. And then like the next day, he's like, I think we should watch that from the beginning. <laughs> like the whole series. I said, I just knew you'd be hooked because it's such a good show. So, um but it is, it really is a good one. So and let me go finish my face. I'll be back. With okay guys, and I'm done. Um, I went ahead and lined my waterline with my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Exit, which is just white. And then I used my Maybelline Lash Sensational to do my lashes with. <laughs> um, this is my final look. It didn't take me three times. It just took once this time, which I'm very, very happy and pleased with. <laughs> um, I do love this palette. I think it is just beautiful. However, I know that there was a lot of people who thought that this palette was just very plain and not very um, representative of friends. However, I I love the color story. because I just really like neutral colors. However, I did play with color today. I want that to go on record. <laughs> <laughs> I did play with some color. Um, maybe even some of the most colorful shades in this palette. Just, let's just say that. <laughs> but, um, I thought I had something on my chin. Um, but I really do love this palette and I think it's beautiful. I love the packaging. I think that it's absolutely just amazing. They said that there's going to be a volume two, um, which I'm very excited to see. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you guys. Duh, Whitney. I forgot to show you guys the lipsticks. I forgot all about these. These, This is the Rachel and the Phoebe. Monica was sold out. I'm so crazy. That's what I should have put on my lips. I forgot all about them. So this is Phoebe and this is Rachel. Here's the packaging, has their names on it. Here's the Phoebe packaging and it has like lips with the color. That's Rachel, and then this one's Phoebe. Um, and then it's just like a bullet lipstick, which is really cute. Um, I wanted the Monica. It was probably the most wearable shade <laughs> in all of it. Um, but it was sold out. So maybe I can get it on a restock or something. I don't know if it's going to be restocked, but I'll check it out and see just so that I can have it. Um, but I should have put that on my lips. Here, let's do that. 
I'm gonna put Rachel. And it's just a little too deep, so I am gonna take Phoebe and kinda just kinda mix the two. And then I'll put a little bit, where did my gloss go? I'll put a little gloss on top too. There we go. It's a little deeper. <laughs> but yes, the lipsticks, they're very creamy. They smell good too. They have like a vanilla, I think vanilla scent to them. And they're very beautiful. So if I can get the Monica one, I will just to have the three. Because I think that's beautiful. But there's going to be like a second part to the whole Friends thing. So we'll have to wait and see what they come up with then. Um, they did have on Makeup Revolution site. Um... I ordered all of mine from Ulta, and on the actual Makeup Revolution site, they had lip glosses, um, the mirrors, makeup bags. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. I can't think of anything else right off the top of my head, um, but they had lip glosses for everyone. They had a, a Joey Chandler Ross Phoebe Monica Rachel lip gloss, um, and then of course the lipsticks. Um, I think they just had those for the for Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel, though. So, um, maybe I can get my Monica lipstick from there. Um, but, <laughs> um, I am loving this. I love these colors together. Um, I wouldn't have normally worn these colors, but I like to play in color when I get the chance. Um, step outside of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, and the white liner just kind of makes me look a little bit more bright-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little trick, you know, so I really do like this palette and if you're a Friends fan, I think you should get it. Go for it. Uh, Makeup Revolution is very inexpensive. Um, I don't remember when I paid for this, but I will try to put the prices in the description box below. That way you will know. But there's also a very, whoop, I about threw it at you. There, <laughs> there's also very neutral looks that can be done from this and that's what I love about it too so but I love the highlight this is the Mr. Heckles highlight the one in my inner corner and on my brow bone is the ugly naked guy and I think that they are so so cute um if I had a deeper skin tone I would so rock Estelle <laughs> I'll show you a swatch how pretty is that gorgeous absolutely stunning um Definitely be wearing that for an eyeshadow myself, but a deeper skin tone, that is gonna look so amazing. Um, I love that they included the highlighters in with the palette. Um, that's just awesome. So if you guys want to, I don't want to bombard you with just a ton of eyeshadow, 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 because I feel like that's all I'm doing here <laughs> lately. Um, but if you guys want to see um, looks with the Monica, Rachel and Phoebe palettes. I'm more than happy to, we could do like one look and use a little out of each. Um, I'm happy to do that. So just um, comment and let me know. I want your feedback to know if you want to see that or not. Um, so that I know if that's a video you guys would be interested in seeing. So I appreciate you guys so much. Your support means the world. Oh, let me show you my shirt. <laughs> it's a uh, leopard tee and it's in support of my husband it's football season it's all I've heard about ever since it started um well since before it started he says it's his Christmas and <laughs> he just loves football so he's a very big Tennessee Vols fan his whole family is and so I will be living in football everything for the next <laughs> however long um so I got to hear, was there going to be football? Was there not going to be football? Um, and then, you know, it just kept going back and forth and who knew? And <laughs> so, but it's, it's his passion. He supports my makeup passion. So I'll support his football passion. Although I don't understand it and I'm not as crazy about it as him. I will support him and he does support me too. So, um, I have a really good husband. I don't know if I tell you guys that enough. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I tell you too much, but I do have a really good one. And yes, we've only been married a year, but he is a good one. Um, when I was talking earlier about Phoebe's um, brother getting, you know, like a, his wife was older and it gave me hope. Um, I got married later in life 
compared to my friends. I mean, I'm not old by any means, but um, a lot of my friends got married straight out of high school. So <laughs> for the longest time, I thought I'm not going to meet anybody. There's no way that I'm ever going to find somebody. And then when I found him, he's my perfect match in every way, in every single shape, size, and form. <laughs> um, and of course, I tried to find every reason in the world why it, w why it wouldn't work. You know, I was just like, well, this is wrong and that's wrong and this is... <laughs> <laughs> but still it somehow all worked out and um all my wrongs were right and anyway he is just so perfect for me in so many ways and I'm sorry to just ramble about him but he is he I don't talk about him <laughs> I don't tell him um enough just how much I do love and appreciate him because he is such a good good man and I'm so thankful for him but the reason I was saying that about Phoebe's brother and his wife <laughs> what was her name I can't think um, oh, it'll come to me in a second, but, um, her being older, I'm older than my husband, not by much, but I am older <laughs> and he doesn't let me forget. So for the moment, he had a birthday in August. For the moment, we're the same age, but when I have a birthday in October, I'm going to be older. So, <laughs> um, that was one of the reasons I thought, I, you know, I was always, for some reason, I thought the guy should be older. Um, and why, I don't know, but that was just always in my mind that the guy should be older. So anyway, he's perfect in every way. I love him to death and really could not have handpicked a better one. And God just really blessed me. So nonetheless, I just wanted to tell you what a great husband I have. Why I got off on that tangent, I don't really remember at this point, but <laughs> he is a good one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so very much. I, I say that all the time, but I truly mean it. I do appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. In your